Okay. In all seriousness, I mean, uh, you know, it's fun to play music, it's fun to joke around, it's fun to, to poke fun, it's fun to, it's fun to be me, <laughs> really. But in reality, the truth of the matter is, I wouldn't be who or where I am today <coughs> if it wasn't for my wife. Um, when I was, uh, how old was I when I met her? Wow, that was such a long time ago. No, I'm kidding. When I was 24, yeah, when I was 24, uh, you know, I mean, I was going through a crazy time in my life. To, I was paying rent on a farm and I couldn't live in because I couldn't afford to pay the power bill. Uh, so I actually wasn't even living there. I was paying for it and staying with my sister and, I mean, going through a lot of stuff. And while going to church and stuff, I met this girl. And uh, I started talking to her more, started spending time with her, started hanging out with her and stuff. And uh, a few weeks later, we started dating. Uh, we had talked, well, we had started talking about dating, and then we did start dating, uh, like a week or two after that, and uh, a few, this was all like right between, this all happened between Thanksgiving, or just before Thanksgiving is when I met her, started talking to her through Thanksgiving, and then just before Christmas, or no, the day after Thanksgiving, no, something like that, some, the Sunday after Thanksgiving or something, we started dating, and uh, then through the course of events, of things that happened, uh, she was 19 at the time, and uh, through things that happened, anyway, she moved out of her parents, where she was staying with her parents, and she came to live with me. We'd only been dating, we'd been dating less than a month. And uh, she, where I had lived wild and carefree, didn't care about nothing or whatever, Suddenly, she became my responsibility, so to speak. I started paying her her cell phone bill, um, different stuff like that, and uh, trying to help her out, trying to stay cool being me, and trying to keep this apartment that I couldn't stay in. Uh, but uh, she started teaching me responsibility and about how to become responsible for more than just myself. And it, that was... It seems like forever ago. It does, not because of how long or how the way our relationships are, but it's just that that person from five years ago seems so different than who I am today. And uh, it's only because of her. I, I didn't care about nothing. I got tickets all the time. I didn't pay for them. I didn't care about... Like I said, I, I just wanted to get out of my lease. I didn't want to have bad uh, renter's credit or whatever. But I didn't care nothing about the light bill. I didn't care. I said, whatever with the light bill. I said, whatever with the... the and it went, didn't take long before I started saying whatever with our phone bills, too. If we lost our phones. And, but we stayed with my sister for a while. And then my brother offered her a job uh, as a live-in nanny. Well, when she went to live there, of course, so did I. And uh, we won't talk about what all happened there. But we were younger then and uh, less mature. Uh, not that we're more mature now. For, we're not going to go into all that. But, uh, you know, we stayed there for a while. Uh, I changed jobs. We ended up letting, I ended up letting the apartment go because I thought the lease was coming to an end and I still had three more months and I said, I can't do this anymore because I was taking care of her and me. And so, Went through all that, uh, then the stuff with my brother ended. Well, she needed somewhere to go, and of course I needed somewhere to go. And this was the first time since we had been together that we weren't together. Uh, she went to live with some friends from church, uh, and I went to stay with my parents, which we were across the highway from one another. I was over there every day, you know, visiting her, seeing her, and just all like that. And then I was working. <coughs> when she was living with my brother, it made things easier because she was getting a little bit of money too. But it wasn't impossible without that little extra life. So I kept taking care of all her needs there. 
and my own needs when my parents pay them rent and whatnot. Oh, pop my shoulders. Try to. So after that, uh, did that for a while, and then they had to move. The people that she was living with were having to move, and so uh, had to find some work for Tan to go. Uh, where did she go? Oh, I believe that's when. I think that's when she moved in with her aunt, and uh, started staying there with her for for a while, and uh, still paying my parents' rent. Anyways, we went through a lot together without having anything, <coughs> and then we got married uh, June sixth. I keep wanting to say June 8th. That's the day I wanted to get married. Long story short, we got married on June 6th, and that's all that matters. So now uh, June 6th is all I think about. Honestly, uh, June 6th, 2008, we got married. That was the last time I had an eye on a fire burger. <sighs> Sonic, what is wrong with you? Sonic, bring it back. Eye on fire burger, bring it back. If you've ever had one, you better click the like button. If you've never had one, you better click the comment button, the share button, the like button. You better click it all and say, Sonic, we want this. I want to try this Island Fire Burger that this guy remembers so clearly as it being the last thing he had before he got married. It was. It was the last thing I had before I got married. And I think we actually had one the next day, too, me and uh, Santa both. But we had this nice romantic honeymoon that uh, my pastor set up for us. Uh, and we started living with my parents and uh, paying them rent. And she worked a little bit here and there. And she called me up at work one night and said, I'm pregnant. Uh, so, I mean, it's just when I think about my life, and sometimes she doesn't realize this, but when I think about my life, I didn't really start living until the day I met her until the day we got together, until the day that she came to live with me. That's when I started living. And I've become more mature and more responsible. Am I 100% responsible? No. Am I 100% mature? Lord, I hope I never become that mature. Uh, <laughs> but, baby, I love you. You mean everything to me. And I mean, I, I think about everything that we've overcome. And I think about where we are now, and I know we've come so far that this vision that I have for us is not that far away. And we will make it. I love you, baby. Happy birthday.